Stephanie, tell me, tell me then, you know, we talked a little bit about kind of what you learn through sport, hard work, right? You know, what you have to kind of really do. Um, even the story about cross country and kind of, you know, having to, to, to really, you know, I don't know, make a relationship with your coach. You know, tell me what happens after sports for you, after the Olympics, you know, kind of where do you go with your career from there? Well, Brett, luckily for me, I did graduate from college. And, you know, mm-hmm. there we have a lot of athletes sometimes who move on to professional careers and they do they don't graduate. And then if those professional careers don't pan out, then um, they're usually um, not in a good place. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so I had a degree. And, um, uh, you know, again, back then there wasn't there was professional track, but it, it wasn't at the level. Um, that it is now where you could actually sustain a full time, you know, you consider it um, a full time job and and and, um, uh, have, you know, you know, real endorsements um, that where you could live off of and and live, you know, a a really good life. So, you know, I knew that I had to get out and, um, you know, start looking for a job. And uh, this was one time where you do use, you know, your Ohio State connections and the people that you know, being an athlete. And I will say, and especially for women and especially for for girls and women now, um, you know, a lot of corporations are looking for female athletes because they know the attributes. If they were competing at a high level um, in college, they know that they're going to bring a strong work ethic to the table. They know that from an integrity standpoint, you know, you got to be doing what you're saying you're going to do. They're going to be organized and they're going to be you know, understand metrics and setting goals and, and what those measurable outcomes need to be in order for you to, you know, for you to, to get to be successful. I mean, I knew I had to run a certain time from the first hurdle to the second. I mean, from the, the, the starting block to the first hurdle, what are that measurable outcome? So those metrics. So you already have that stuff already there. It's now how do you now take those same attributes and then transition them into a professional life? How do you take all those things that you've learned, um, your teamwork, you know, how do you, how do you come together, you know, in a team internally? And, and if you want to be a leader, how do you take those skills from if you were the captain of the football team or basketball team, bringing the team together so that they can be successful? It's now bringing all those, 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 those skills and attributes. And how do you now translate those into business? And so, um, at first, I really didn't. It took me a while to figure it out. But having, you know, good mentors around me, um, um, you know, one of the first jobs uh, after I left the um, after I had a, a stint at the state was going to work with Greg Lasheka, who, you know, was OSU football player. And so, you know, he understood how my brain worked. I kind of understand from an athlete's brain work. So it makes mm-hmm. for a really good relationship. But it's also a good mentoring opportunity mm-hmm. you know you know i used to hate it because greg used to always hand us books all the time as cabinet members did a lot of teaching makes you do a lot of reading but mm-hmm. again you know that's like taking that playbook you gotta know that playbook right and that football mm-hmm. so so how do you how do you how do you translate those kinds of things um like that it's um it, it, it's 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 probably not as easy as you think my some of my challenges have been um um, and, and I remember when I was on the school board, one of my school board colleagues told me this. They said, you know, Stephanie, your you've always your your standard of excellence is up here, right? And 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 many of us, our standard of excellence is probably about three levels lower than yours, because we mm-hmm. haven't achieved that same level of excellence that you have. Mm-hmm. And so you got to give us a little grace. We to get there because you're 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 operating at a different achievement level than most of us would have ever a- obtained. You're an Olympian, mm-hmm. and I had to go back one night and I had to think about that. Um, mm-hmm. um, that that yeah, I, I, I'm always going for I'm always going for ten. I got to stay at ten, but a lot of people can't stay at ten. Um, yeah, uh, and and I have to be able to respect that, but. I've also grown, and I hope I've grown in my leadership and being here at the Urban League is 
I got to help you get to 10. Let me show you how I can get you to 10 because I'm a firm believer that we all can get to 10. Now, the question is whether or not you want to do the work to get to 10.